that locker room deserves a Knockouts World Champion. So I will be at Rebellion one way or the other. Either I will be defending this championship with everything that I have, or I will honorably pass over this championship to the woman that wins that match. What up, y'all? This is your boy Ace here, and welcome to After News Delight. So, Mickey James, right? This is an interesting situation, man. This is how it went for me. I just got to watch the sacrifice this morning as I'm doing these videos because I didn't have access to sacrifice until about last night. So, I heard, though, that Mickey James and Jordan Grace didn't fight for the, fight for the title. And I want to see a way it came off on TV. By the way, let me reveal the poll results before we start because I had a big turnout. I had over 1,000 uh, votes. On this poll, so I definitely want to give it some respect. 55 likes on it. Uh, biggest impact wrestling poll I've ever had on here. The majority of the people said Mickey James was going to beat Jordan Grace. Um, by the way, in that match, a few commenters as well. So, very interesting stuff. But uh, getting back to the situation. So, I want to see how the interview played out. So, she was in an interview right before the Deanna Perrazzo giselle Shaw match, right, to really determine, I guess, what's going to happen at Multiverse, but they're still going to fight each other in a four-way match, but I went over those videos earlier, so if y'all want to hear more details about that, y'all go watch those. In this one, though, Mickey James was in a sit-down interview with Gia Miller, and Santina Morella was also there, in the middle uh, between them. And, you know, they're answering questions how this is going to go, because Mickey has his new injury, and it's going to cause problems, right? Because now... You know, we're in a situation where the it feels like the title's being taken hostage right now by Mickey James. It's his injury. So, Mickey James said she had a broken rib. I guess it was supposed to have came for the busted, uh, the busted open match from the night before. And she actually acknowledged when Jordan Grace told her the week before that you're fighting way too close to our match. You know, the, the, the night before, you know, really, this match took place in late February. <laughs> but... Anyways, like, so she acknowledged that, that she was hurt, and she said she wasn't going to be able to fight, so Jordan Grace didn't get her title shot tonight. I'm pretty sure that pissed Jordan Grace off. I hope they show Jordan Grace. It's going to be a live edition of Impact, by the way, on Thursday, man, so it's going to be very interesting. It's the first one they've ever done since they've been on Access TV, but it's going to be interesting to see what Jordan Grace has to say about about the situation, if she thinks Mickey is ducking her or not. And Mickey James said she wasn't ducking her. But I, I, I'm going to get my thoughts on that in a second. Um, In a few seconds. But, so, basically what's going to end up happening is this. So, Santino Morella came up with something on the fly. At Rebellion, we're going to do a three-way match between Mickey, Jordan, and whoever wins this multiverse uh, uh, match on Thursday night in L.A., between Deanna Perrazzo, um, it has Deanna Perrazzo in this match, Giselle Shaw, Masha Slamovich, and Miyu Yamashita. So, one of those four ladies are going to have a shot to go to Rebellion next month, or in a few weeks, on April the 16th, and fight for that title. Now, Mickey actually said that, hey, if I'm not available for the match, I'm not going to hold it hostage, I'm going to go in ahead and do the right thing and vacate it. So, if Mickey cannot go physically in that match, she will vacate it. Now, a lot of this is dependent on the realism of this injury. Because I've already heard from some other... When I first heard about this, I already heard from some other people that Mickey might be faking this injury. And that she is ducking Jordan Grace, who she is worried about tapping out to. I believe Mickey James will be there... On April the 16th, though. Like, in my heart of hearts, I believe Mickey James will be there April the 16th. I believe she will be in that match. But here's the other thing that I see, too. Is Mickey James turning heel? Because, or about to turn heel. Because this was something that you never really saw from Mickey. Like, if she's faking this, you never really saw her cheating the game, so to say, to keep Jordan Grace away from 
having a chance to beat her. To me, I can see Mickey losing this match because if Deanna Parazzo's in that match, man, that's going to be pretty tough to see. Or even, shoot, Giselle Shaw might even get in there. You never even know. Uh, but Masha Slamovich as well. The only one I don't see getting in there, and this is, and, and this, and I think she's only in the match because this is a, this uh, multiverse United event at WrestleCon on Thursday. It's just, it's a, it's a New Japan Pro Wrestling Impact merged event. Um, I think Miyu Yamashita. I think she's only in there just for the for the promotion purposes. I don't think she's in there to to be at Rebellion. You know what I mean? So I think it's got to be one of those three women, right? Diana, Giselle, or Masha. I think Mickey personally, I think she's faking it. Um, and I think this is like the early signs of a potential heel run for uh Mickey Mickey James. I think it is. I think I think the duck in the smoke, ducking ducking Jordan Grace, I think that's definitely something that's going on right now, bro. I think it's definitely something that's going on. But we're gonna see. We're we going to see for sure what's going on. We're going to see for sure what's going on. So, I'm going to go ahead and lead it to y'all. Give me y'all comments. Do y'all think Mickey faking it? Do you think she turning heel soon? Like, let me know. And do you think she's going to be in the match? Like, let me know all of that. And then, I'm going to come back to wrap this up and let you know who I think might win that match. If Mickey is in it. I'll be right back. Okay, you guys. Make sure y'all are going ahead and hit the like button, comment, and share the video. Also, make sure you guys also donate to the channel by hitting the thanks button below, or you can hit up the Cash App Dollar Sign Sack Exchange to send any donation to the Cash App. Here are the top donators, and you can fit yourself in this list at any time if you donate at least two dollars or more. Thank you. So yeah, man, um, it's crazy, man. I like, I I would have never thought Mickey would pull something like that off, but she did. And I, I definitely think she's fearing Jordan Grace right now. I definitely, I definitely feel like she's 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 fearing Jordan Grace, and this could hit, lead to a heel turn. I think a heel turn at this point will be interesting for Mickey James. Like I know a lot of people don't want to see Trish Stratus go heel to WWE right now because because of, of their status, their legend, you know, the ages or whatever, like. Dawg, I still kind of actually want to see how Trish will be as a heel right now. Especially if she could lead damage control. So, Mickey, I would love to see it, man. They don't really do factions like that too much in Impact, but I, I would like to see her, like, have a couple of people, younger people under her. Um, one of them being, um, what's her name? Uh, um, what's her name? Uh. Um, Jody Threat. I would like for Jody Threat to be in that group. If, if Mickey gets like maybe a three way, a three uh, three woman uh, uh, faction or something like that, I think that'd be pretty cool. I think that'd be pretty cool. So let's see how that goes, man. Y'all let me know your thoughts on this, man. Thank y'all for watching. After news, the like.